So morning prayer from the Earth Gospel, a wonderful book by Sam Hamilton Poor. I encourage you to get a copy if you don't have one already. And after a few moments of quiet, I will begin with an opening from Psalm 143. In the morning, let me know of your love, for I put my trust in you. Show me the way that I must take, for my heart is set on you. Barbara. The scripture reading is taken from Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how awesome is your name through all the earth. You have set your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have drawn a defense against your foes to silence enemy and avenger. When I see your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you set in place, what are humans that you are mindful of them, mere mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them little less than a God, crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them rule over the works of your hands, put all things at their feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever swims in the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how awesome is your name through all the earth. And another voice from Beatrice of Nazareth from the 13th century. <clears throat> as the fish swims freely in the vastness of the seas, as the bird soars boldly in the vastness of the air, so I feel my spirit roaming free in the depths and heights and immensity of love. And from Karl Barth, of all creatures, the Christian is the one who not merely is a creature, but actually says yes to being a creature. Let's take two minutes to, of quiet to reflect on these rich readings.
Holy One, as we move to prayer, we pray for peace throughout the world, wherever there's fighting, especially in the Ukraine today. We pray for all those who need our prayers, and for those most vulnerable wherever we live and in all places. O oh God, great and wonderful, who has created the heavens, dwelling in their light and beauty, who have made the earth, revealing yourself in every flower that opens. Let not my eyes be blind to you, neither let my heart be dead, but teach me to praise you, even in the lark which offers her song at daybreak. Amen. Amen. And the blessing for today, may you experience anew God's great yes to you and to creation. And may this yes set you free to live and love abundantly. Amen. <clears throat>